Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video today. I'm back with season two of my F1 2016 career mode. We are back in Australia. Now for this season there's gonna be a few rule changes. First off, the AI have been moved up to ultimate difficulty. I'm gonna keep them ultimate difficulty just for a free, a few races just to see how quick I am compared to them. Then if I'm really struggling, I will take it back down to legend. Another rule is I've moved the races up to 50% race distance. So strategy will play more of a part in the races. And lastly, I was going to do post-com for the races, but honestly, I think I'm going to move back to live-com. So this race is post-com, but, but for the rest of the season, starting from Bahrain, it will be live-com. But nevertheless, we are at Australia for the start of season two. I decided not to include qualifying because it, 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 it didn't go well. It really didn't. So here is the qualifying result, we've got Vettel on pole, Ricardo second, and I decided to skip it. Thank you, Connor, you really helped me out. This is why I shouldn't do post-com. So starting this race, I start in 15th place. Here's my race strategy, I decided to go for the top one, soft to mediums. It's going to be close, but I'm going to try and push that one stop. But let's go to the race. But here we go, starting from 15th, we have three lights, four lights, five lights. Lights out and away we go, how's the start looking? It's looking fairly decent. It's like we're going to, well, we won't be able to get past the manor as Bottas is blocking us. Heading down to the first corner now. We've got a Haas on our inside. Can we try and go around the outside of most people? I think there's a little bit of contact. And a lot of people are going quite slowly. Go around the outside of the Toro Rosso. He's now on our outside. We've got the inside line for turn three. Are we going to have a look at the inside of Magnussen and maybe Palmer? Raikkonen goes spinning out of turn three. And we go up the inside of the Williams. But we get an illegal overtake because it's yellow flags. So the end of sector one, as the safety car comes out, we move up to P7 from 15th on the grid. So, pretty good start for us. On to the end of lap four, come on to lap five. The safety car is coming in. We are right behind, or right alongside Perez, trying to get alongside him for the final corner. The safety car goes in, and it looks like we easily take Perez around the final corner up into sixth place. On the following lap, we are chasing down Nico Rosberg, who's actually battling, I think, Hamilton and Vettel ahead. And it looks like we've got a very good route at the first corner. Can we take Rosberg round the outside? Maybe even Vettel as well under braking. It looks like Vettel's going to block us a bit, and we haven't really got anywhere to go. Coming down to turn three, Rosberg has a look at the inside of Vettel and absolutely does it. Perez clips our rear a bit and slows us up. Rosberg and Vettel going side by side. Are they going to collide or are they going to do it? Vettel gets pushed off wide and actually slows us down as he comes back on track. Raikkonen is now, is now behind us, but we're looking very quick compared to the Mercedes and the Ferraris. Coming to the end of lap 6 now. At this point, I'm a little bit impatient. So I dive bomb Vettel and Rosberg. Slightly questionable overtake on Rosberg, but we do take 4th place as Rosberg tries to hold it on our outside but can't manage it. And as we come around the final corner, Max Verstappen sets fastest lap. We do take third place as someone else is in the pit. I'm not actually too sure who it was. I think it was Ricardo. Now, it's at this point that my strategy really started to pay off. As all the super soft drivers started to come into the pit. And obviously, we move up into first eventually. Due to ourselves being on the soft tyre. Coming to the end of lap 11, it's time for us to pit. Hopefully, my team can get a good pit stop. See if we can get out. Ahead of at least one Ferrari, absolutely nail the braking zone. What's our pit stop looking like? Is it under three seconds? Go, go, go. It is a very quick pit stop. I can't quite see what it is because my previous view is a little bit blurry. And after our pit stop, we rejoin in ninth place, just behind Carlos Sainz. On the next lap now, we've got Grosjean behind us, who's on the faster tyre, so we have to, to defend him into the first corner. He's going to go up our inside. Can we get the cutback on him? Can I get the traction? And it looks like I'm going to do it around his outside, but he just doesn't leave enough room and he has DRS to help him. Can we get back at him into turn three? We're going to have a look up his inside, leaves the door open. He leaves us the room and can we hold it around the outside to take P8? We just squeeze him into the curb and we have to give the position back. Later on in the lap, we are all over his rear end. We're going to have a look up his inside to the next corner. I, we need to stay ahead of Grosjean as he is on the fastest tyre. We go up his inside, leaves the door open. Can we get a better traction this time? Taking around the outside, and I think we've done it. He's on our inside. Is he going to hold it coming down to the fast chicane? Is he going to pull out of it? Yes, he does. We take P8 from Roman Grosjean. 
Now on to lap 14, our teammate comes into the pit and moves us up into 7th place. However, on the next lap, on the exit of the fire chicane, we get onto the curb and get spat into the inside of the track. And now Grosjean is having a look around our outside. Is he going to be able to hold it? We are late on the brakes and I think we managed, we run a little bit wide, but we managed to hold him off. But he is looking very quick on those soft tyres. Come around the final corner, Roman Grosjean will have slipstream, he will have DRS. And the Ferrari power, surely he's going to take us. He's going to look around the outside. He may even take us before the first corner. We're going to still try and go up the inside, but we just are a little bit late on the brakes. Grosjean gets a very good exit, and it looks like he's taken seventh place from us. Two laps later, we're in the same position he was in. Slipstream and DRS down the second DRS straight. Looking up his inside, are we going to take him up the inside once again? Yes, we are, and he's not going to hold it on our outside. We take... Sixth place as I think another car pitted. And coming on to lap 19. I'm pretty sure this is the last of the pit stops for this race. We move up into the top five. We think there's a viable strategy change available to us. Would you like to keep to the current plan or try the new one? Okay, so just a couple laps to go. Jeff offers us a viable strategy change onto the super soft for a couple laps. I decide to keep going. My tires are a little bit worn. But I feel confident I can make it to the end. Later on in lap 26, Perez have a look around our outside, as does Carlos Sainz. Both of which are on the, so the newer tyre. Sainz is on the softer tyre. But Perez, I, I have no tyres to fight him with, so I just let him through. He can take fifth place for the constructors. I'm just trying to get as many points as possible and just try and get these tyres to the end. Coming on to lap 28, we've got Sainz and Massa right behind us. Both are going to have slipstream. Both are going to have DRS. Surely Sainz is going to take us with the softer tyre. Massa just has no room to go and we dive back up the inside of Sainz and we hold off sixth place for now. But this is not what we want to do if we want to keep our tyres. Now Sainz having a look round our outside. He had a look. Is he going to do it? He's trying it but we do get the exit. Now coming round the final corner to start the final lap and our tyre explodes with just one lap to go. We are so close. And I've pretty, that is the end of our race. Our front left has blown up and once again for the second season in a row as all the cars take us that we are battling. For the second season in a row we will not score points at Australia. So we took our time but coming up to the line we're going to finish in 15th place at the Australian Grand Prix. A very disappointing result, well, that's a disappointing result for sure. as Jeff we'll says, but hopefully we can bring it back in Bahrain. So that is the race, Ricardo takes the win, Perez man did manage to finish in 5th, we finish in 15th place, but our, our overall pace is looking pretty good, I feel like I'm going to keep it on ultimate at least for the next couple races, see what I can do on a stronger track like Bahrain. Yeah, that is going to be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, remember to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new on here. Sorry if the commentary is kind of shit. I suck at post-com. So, live com will return in Bahrain. And until next time, guys. See ya.